Hello, thanks for tuning in. This is part two of snorkeling and underwater photography. And today we're going to talk about wide angle, under the surface, reflections, and some topside issues. So here is a body of water at the Blue Heron Bridge where we'll go diving, and I will often uh, just snorkel before or after the dive. And uh, here's anywhere you see a body of cool, a, a body of calm water, there's a good opportunity for getting great underwater pictures with snorkeling. So we'll talk about wide angle. This is right off a seven mile beach uh, using a, a wide angle lens. I got this nice bare image of a barracuda. Here's an image of my nephew while snorkeling, taking a picture of a turtle. We we're both snorkeling, we got a cool picture of a turtle. Here's a school of squid we saw in about four feet of water, snorkeling off a seven mile beach in Grand Cayman. Here's a picture of my daughter in a school of fish, again, obviously taken snorkeling. My kids don't always even use fins or a snorkel against my own advice. Here's an octopus that we saw while snorkeling, while in the Caymans in about five feet of water. I used a wide angle lens and you can see the whole uh, landscape of the underwater uh, vista there and you can see a oct beautiful octopus there. And here's a picture of my daughter free diving to about 15 feet uh, behind a flounder. I caught my, the flounder and my daughter, again, without a snorkel or fins. Another thing we can do is dive down a little bit and then shoot up. That provides a fast shutter speed, stops the action, and it shows a little added dimension, an added layer of interest to the picture by showing the under surface or the waves. So here's a turtle. We dove to about five, six feet and caught the turtle with the under surface in Hawaii. Again, here we're getting down and, and seeing this, uh, be these beautiful sea urchins. It's only about five or six feet or you wouldn't see the color red with available light, but you can catch the undersurface and the waves of the water provides an added dimension to the pictures. Here's a picture. I went down about seven or eight feet and caught this turtle with my wife snorkeling above the turtle and again, the undersurface. Here's a picture using a wide angle lens uh, of a trunk fish in about 10 feet of water in Carousel. Got the trunk fish and showed the under surface. Another picture similarly of a turtle uh, getting down and shooting up and showing the rippling effects of the waves just really does add interest. Here we are lucky enough in Hawaii uh, to see uh, some uh, beautiful eagle rays, six eagle rays. I went and uh, ran to the hotel, got my camera, jumped in the water literally, got in there and got the eagle rays with the beautiful uh, undersurface there. We can also try to get reflections of the top side. That adds another layer of interest. Here's a picture of my daughter snorkeling, and we have a jellyfish here with my daughter, and you have a reflection of my daughter in the waves there on the undersurface. Again, here's some eagle rays and a reflection of the eagle rays. It provides another area of dimension. Same with the turtle in the sunshine, the rays of the sun, and a reflection of the turtle. And a picture of my daughter snorkeling at night, got a picture of a reflection of her bathing suit under the surface or this file fish at the Blue Huron Bridge snorkeling. Got a picture of the file fish with a reflection. So that also adds a layer of interest. You can also get topside pictures while snorkeling. So well, it wasn't much visibility here in Key West, so I just went under the bridge and didn't even look through Snell's window or anything. Just took my camera out of the water and got a unique picture under the bridge with the blue sky and the clouds. Here is snorkeling at Seven Mile Beach in the Caymans. My daughter snorkeling there, a topside picture. And even a self-portrait of my wife and I while in Carousel snorkeling. Uh, took the wide angle lens, held it out and snapped a shot and got a self-portrait of myself, my wife and the undersurface. So this is just some of the things you can do while snorkeling. For the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about Snell's window, diving deeper and macro photography while snorkeling. Thanks for tuning in.